So I get these questions all the time. What do you eat to lose weight? What exactly do you eat to lose weight? I want to actually see the food in your <laughs> And sometimes it's a little, it's a little scary. <laughs> I do not mind letting you guys know what I eat, what has been working for me, what my meal plans are, and what exactly is in my diet. So this video is just to let you guys know exactly what I eat. Disclaimer. Use your own discretion. These are only suggestions. I am not a physician or a nutritionist. Breakfast. Now I try to keep a high protein breakfast. I eat within an hour of exercise. And here are some of the options that I do have. I usually have a chocolate protein shake with one of the items on the right. Now my protein shake, I just add eight to 10 ounces of water and some sweeteners. My Greek yogurt with strawberries, it's just a cup of Greek yogurt and a cup of fresh strawberries. And that's what makes my Greek yogurt little mix. And I'm just showing you guys real quick what I do. I do sweeten it up with some Splenda and I top it off with some fresh strawberries. Delish. Okay, so this is my cereal. I use Special K protein cereal as cereal choice. I use fat-free milk, but you can use almond milk as well. I just don't like it in my cereal. For my egg veggie omelet, I actually microwave this, and this is how it comes out. And I use this omelet container that I got online, and I'll link it below just in case you guys wanna check it out. And this omelet container is amazing. It really helps you out when you're on the go. I use these egg substitutes I got from Walmart, even though I would prefer the ones from Trader Joe's, but they usually have the same nutritional value. So I'm going to show you real quick how I make my egg veggie omelet. And the veggies and the cheese is optional. I actually do not like cheese on my eggs. I add my bacon bits first just so I can use the same tablespoon. I use three servings of egg substitute, which is nine tablespoons. Hot sauce is to replace ketchup. The vegetables make this really nice and moist. Add some spices, and then I stir it up, and then I clean it up. <laughs> okay, so I just close up my container, like so. Place it in the microwave for about three minutes. This is going to depend how many vegetables you put in your mixture and the watts of your microwave. So this is what it should look like when it's done. And I'm telling you, this container, it just slides out so effortlessly. I cut it up into little pieces, and that is my egg veggie omelet with bacon bits. Lunch time. I try to have a high dietary fiber lunch, and I eat this two to four hours after breakfast. Here are some of my choices, usually soups, sandwiches, and salads. Here are some of my soup options. And these are some of the products I use to make it. Once you've seen one salad, you've seen them all. And here are my sandwich choices. Now this peanut butter will change your life. I love this peanut butter. Look how many empty cans I have. Like seriously, I love it. It's actually powdered peanut butter. And I know you're like powdered peanut butter, but let me show you. You just take two tablespoons of the powdered peanut butter and you add one tablespoon of water. Mix it up, and I'm telling you, this has the same consistency of peanut butter. The same texture, taste, everything. It is peanut butter, it's natural. And it's made from real peanut butter. It just doesn't have the oils. They just drain the oil so you can make this. Look at that. Low calories, did I almost forget to tell you that? 45 calories, 1.5 grams of fat. Now this is my strawberry preserves, 10 calories per tablespoon. Two slices of this bread is 70 calories. And I marry the three together, a little threesome, and it makes my peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly. It's so good, I want that like right now. 
I'm going to show you guys real quick how I make my pizza on toast. I take two slices of bread, I add some tomato paste, some garlic powder, some Splenda to sweeten it up, some veggies, and some cheese. I put it in the oven, and this is what I get. This is so good, like seriously. Snack time! My snacks are usually really low in calories, and I just eat on this between meals. Here are my snack options. I don't really eat fruits every single day, but when I do, I do add some fat-free whipped cream and some chocolate syrup. So good. Here are my other options at the moment that I'm eating. And anything you see homemade, I actually already shot videos for. So any of these items that you guys want to see, comment below so I can make sure I upload those first. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for my video. I hope this helped you guys out. And be sure to comment below what recipes you would like to see me do next. And make sure you check out my recent videos and like and subscribe. And I will be uploading every single week, so make sure you subscribe. Okay guys, 